Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We are at the Mousetrap Cafe in Amityville, New York. It was a birth out of Madhouse TV, which we've had for about five years now. We were actually throwing the idea around of opening up a theater. And um, I wasn't really totally on board with that, but um, somebody mentioned it, wine and cheese place. And I thought right away, venue, music, home run. Being a musician myself, I. I really wanted to build a venue that would be very, very comfortable for the not only the artists, but also I want, a mu I want music lovers in here that really love music and they're going to get the best music that they're going to get anywhere. We didn't want a bar. I mean, there's so many bars on Long Island. We wanted something different. We started talking to a lot of uh, people on Long Island, and I, I think they were a little bit tired of that 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 scene, that hardcore rock and roll scene where you walk in there, you can't hear yourself think. Here, we have three VIP suites, some nice tapas uh, food with a great atmosphere, and be able to talk to one another. No more walk into a wine bar that has entertainment, they're in the corner. We have a 34-foot stage with a piano. When we designed this place, we designed it with the idea that nobody on Long Island has something like this. The music, the atmosphere, the trellises, the lighting, the special lighting. What inspired you to make those players? I didn't do it this way on purpose. It just kind of all fell together that way. I mean, we did it slowly and little by little, and. And when it was done, this is how it came out. I thought it was going to be half the size. I just expected it to be like a regular bar, like nothing. It's, it's really nice. A little bit of us is in this place, you know, represented either by the decor or the wine or the entertainment. It's, it all reflects all of us. When you come in here, you don't even realize from the outside the treasure that we have here. And every night we have something going on, so I mean, there's really something for everybody to enjoy. Tommy Marr and I live here, so for us it's really extra, extra special because not only do we get to help the town out by beautifying it and bringing a, a good spot, but we also have a lot of people that we know here that will come and, and feel comfortable and, and sit here, so it's tremendous. It's a nice change of pace, kind of have something a little more relaxed, laid back with a more of a focus on wines than spirits and cocktails. When you're not finding the places that have much of a depth in their wine selection and have more than four or five uh, selections by the glass, and here that everything is available by the glass, which is something that I really like. It's actually my second time here right now. I came back due to the selection and the wine, and they have almost 30 options by the glass, which is something really unique to have, especially in a live music venue. Originally, they did want to open as just a cheese and wine place, and then they decided they wanted to create a whole menu. So they hired me and everything is really fresh, really delicious. Every dressing is made in house, everything is assembled with care, everything is edible art. I played in just about every club in Long Island. Dive bar to, you know, big theaters. I kind of know what, what would work with a musician. They are so thrilled to play here because of the way it's set up. It's not a gin mill, it's a venue. And, uh, and, and, and I think it's something that was desperately, desperately needed on Long Island. I truly do.